everybody, Radical Reggie here, and I've hijacked Sorry Marvel's channel, and we are going to test out the Poly Mega for ourselves. So, very excited to do this. First game we're going to test out, one of my favorites of all time, is going to, we're going to play Rainbow Islands. Uh, this is actually Bubble Bobble, um, what I would call Bubble Bobble Collection uh, for the uh, PS, PS1. Came out years ago. I picked this up recently, so um, excited to check it out. I haven't played this game in years, so let's get it started. Um, I am going to be playing on the PlayStation controller, you know, just for nostalgia. But the Polybaker controller pretty much is pretty solid here, if you guys can see that. It's a little closer to that there. So, um, like I said, I want to test it. I want to play the games on this controller just to kind of feel that nostalgia. So, we're going to go ahead and get started. And hopefully, I can do this right. There we go. Start a new game. Yes. So, as I was. As a kid, pretty much, like, Rainbow Islands was one of my favorite games. I know a lot of people like like Bubble Bobble pretty much. And Bubble Bobble is awesome, too. But I'll never forgive that game for when you get to the final boss and you beat the game by yourself and it says, no, you got to start all over because you, it's better to beat the game with two players. That's how you beat the game. So that really sucked that they did that. Uh, I thought that was pretty cheap. But Rainbow Islands didn't do us like that. So and we got a little cool intro here. Huh. Look at these look at these graphics, man, from back then how they did it, the CG. This is like something like a like, I don't know, like a Barney cartoon or something like that. Alright, so we're going to the Rainbow Islands. There's Bub. Huh. Okay. <laughs> Huh. All right, we're gonna go ahead and play the game now. This intro is pretty trippy. <laughs> so from the from this screen here, I'm guessing. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Can we choose anything? Okay, so here we go. So Bubble Bobble, Rainbow Islands, and then Rainbow Islands Enhanced, uh, which is a newer version. I think I think it's exclusive for this system, so that's pretty cool. But we're gonna go with the original first and try that out. That's what I'm familiar with. Let's see here. Oh, gosh, I just love this game. Rainbow Islands. Uh, people don't know this. The story of Bubble Bobble Part 2. So this is actually the real Bubble Bobble Part 2 before it kind of broke off and did its own thing. So we'll put some credits in here. Nine credits to start with. Here we go. Look at all this fruit already ready to go, man. I gotta grab it all. I love that. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah. It plays just like the arcade version. Get out of here. Oh! Jeez. Okay, I'm a little bit rusty. It happens. It's been for a while. Let's try that again. There we go. Look at those points. Yes, not at all. Round two. Grab all the fruit. I like how you don't have to really get every enemy on the level like you did in a bubble bobble. This one you kinda just kinda do what you have to do to get to the top. <laughs> Dang it! I went too fast. Oh, the guy like, waves his arms when he's falling down. It's hilarious. Alright, let's get those fruits. 
Yes, got it all. It's like I hate the timer when you hit, get the goal, and, it, and it pretty much if you um, if you're not moving fast enough, you won't get all the prizes. So you gotta move fast in that part, get those points. I got tennis shoes, so we're moving a little bit faster. Double rainbows, yes. Du double rainbow. That reminds me of that freaking YouTube video from years ago. Double rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> Those dudes were high as hell. <laughs> Alright, well the game is over. I didn't do too well, but it's okay though. Uh, we're just testing things out. So what I'm excited to try actually is um, Bubble Bobble um, Evolution. I wonder if it an option to get out of it from here. It doesn't look like there is, so I'm going to reset the system here. Let's see if I know how to do it. Right. Up and start. Oh, perfect. There we go. And we'll just uh, exit the game. Start over. Boom. And we'll go to Bubble Bubble. Rainbow Islands Evolution. So, um, the Polymega um, really kind of inspired me to look for a lot of like games like imports and stuff like that that I probably normally, normally wouldn't get. But uh, with a lot of uh, fan translation patches, you know, it'd be cool to play a lot of those import games on the system in English, which is one of the most awesome things about the system. Um, it's the first CD, I believe it's the first CD-based system that's uh, emulation, which is really cool. So I don't think there's any other system that's, that's done it yet. But uh, here is Rainbow Islands Enhanced. I said, my mind said Evolution earlier. I meant to say Enhanced. And uh, this one, this one is definitely probably exclusively made for the PlayStation because I've never seen this one in any other system. Oh, I thought they looked different. Never mind. Well, I get the backgrounds are enhanced, so this is probably ported to another system. They made the character look like a 3D model when he was walking up when you choose it, so I thought that was gonna be like that. So that's okay. That's cool. That one's great. Alright, made it to the top. <laughs> Alright. Very cool. That you can get me right there. Yes. To the top. Boy, I'm not gonna get all the fruit though. I did. I got out everything with all the items. So that everybody is Rainbow Islands uh, for the PS1. Uh, definitely a good pickup for me today. And uh, we're gonna start our next game, which is a pretty good surprise. Um, I wouldn't call it. A, it's a fighting game. It's not a hidden gem, but it's definitely hidden in the series of, of that game. And I think you guys will be excited to see it. Let's see here. Did I push the right button to the jet? I did. Right on. Injects the disc pretty strong. I like that. I 
actually had a burnt copy of this game when I lived in Korea. It's kind of cool. I might have actually had a copy still around my apartment somewhere. All right, I think you guys are gonna like this game. This is Rival Schools Part 2. A lot of people think Part 2 is Project Justice on the, um, the Dreamcast, but no. They had a Part 2 come out in uh, Japan only. And um, it adds extra features, probably and fixes a couple of things, but um, it only adds two new characters, so they probably didn't think it was worth bringing out here. And I don't know if the first game sold that well. Um, I don't remember it being a big hype game back when I was in school, so, uh, but still, I mean, uh, I like the, the double team moves you could do in this game, so I'm gonna try to pick my original team and see if I'm still, if I still got it in this game. That's cool how that's in English. I'm gonna skip this, because I think he's gonna start singing. No, he's not singing, okay, never mind. Well, we gotta get started, though. Okay, menu is tough to read. We'll get through it somehow. I'm guessing this one's arcade. Yep. So my team, where's he at? Diego, gotta get Diego in there. And his uh his sister. I don't know. Kira. I think that's what her name was. I can't really remember. Skip that because you guys don't, don't want to hear the story. You want to see the fighting. Got to get that power bar maxed out. There we go. Diego putting his business now. There we go. Get up. Kira, I think that's her name, Kira. Round two, fight! Swimsuit dude, he's one of the new characters in this game. You know he caught me. Dang, he's still 
Put me down. Gotta bring in Diego to beat you up, man. There we go. Thanks, buddy. Well, fuck us. Let's see do a lesson. One more time. Oh, I messed it up. Did I get his? Dang it. It's, that's an even fight again. I got greedy. That is um, Rival Schools Part 2, only exclusive in Japan. Worth getting, yeah, as long as you can understand everything. Um, if you're a fan of the series, I mean, you definitely would like it. But a lot of people just skipped over to Project Justice on the Dreamcast. There's Bowman. I think he's like a principal or something like that. Weird looking dude, man. That Mohawk, blonde Mohawk. I guess he's next. I love fighting this level. Yeah, let's give one more round in. Oh, one more fight, man. It's like my favorite level in the game. It's music. Power up, whatever. Yes, sir. This will be over. What? Get out of here. Alright. I actually kind of miss this game now that I'm thinking about it. Round two, fight! Messed that up. Should be missing that, that power bar that we needed. I think I actually missed about this game. Probably just this rival school. Yeah, you know, it's probably hella expensive now. I'll definitely get the import version. Yeah, I need Diego's help. Diego, where you at, man? Come on! Damn, I'm not going into that. I wasted two bars. Four bars. That's all we gotta get revenge the same girl. We're not gonna do this like that. Come on! is uh, Rival Schools Part 2 uh, unknown out of the Rival School series but um, definitely worth uh, picking up if you have a chance to get it uh, so we're going to try our next game I think I had another one here somewhere um, well no it's actually installed in the system so let's do this right now we'll close, exit the game as you guys know you could dump games onto the system and there's some games already here and I want to try out to show you guys so what a media I believe it's in media and um there's one game I want to play on here that you guys have seen me play on my channel before, but where is it at? Is Pooly Wool in here? Those are wish list games. Um, collection. Let's see what we got here, folks. 
I was gonna go with Panther. The game is called uh, Panther Bandit. But I don't know if it's on here. Panther Bandit. Well, you know what? We'll go with another one of my favorites. Adventures of Little Ralph. Let's try that out. It's the last game we try. This is probably... This is my favorite platform game of all time. A very unknown game, unfortunately. It was made by a company called New. I think they only made two games. Originally, this game was going to be on the... Um, I believe it was going to be on the PC Engine. Or our earlier system before that, before it got ported to the uh, play, um, remade for the PlayStation system. Um, so, also, if you ever own this game, and you play it. Make sure you go to options and put the game a setting to normal. The game actually defaults you on easy, and um, if you play the game on easy, you you, you, you can't finish the game. The game kind of like stops at a certain level. So, now you see Ralph saying goodbye to his family, goes on this adventure. Let's see where I'm gonna I'm gonna be I've been playing this game for a long time. Not since I beat it years ago. I love grabbing the fruit, man. Those points. Down like scooping the duck. Like Ducktail style. I don't know what he's saying, but it's probably not very really good. Alright, so we've reached the checkpoint. Whoa! How about those? I never, what are you doing there? 
Never figured it out. So good. I'm gonna make it to the first boss. I think I made it to him. Yep. Without getting hit. Perfect. Alright guys. So that is Adventures Little Ralph on the plane on the Polymega. Awesome. This has been dumped to the system, so it shows you how well well it plays on there. So um all in all with the Polymega, um I am looking forward to it. I know a lot of people have been experienced like well there's delays with it and everything, but It'll come out eventually, folks, you know, and it'll be ready, and it'll be what we want it to be, so. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I think I will let Sarmaro have his channel back. You guys are awesome. Radical Reggie, and I will see you guys later.